Hi! Hello! Good day to everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Lessons Made Easy with Teacher Phoebe. So for today, I will be discussing the different uh, methods of collecting data. Okay, so let's go now and please stay tuned. The first one is what we call the interview method. And in here, uh, from the word interview, that means meron tayong interviewer and meron tayong interviewee. The data is gathered in person or through phone. This method has an advantage of obtaining in-depth responses. However, it requires time and money to plan and execute. The person gathering the information is called the interviewer while the person is applying the data is called the interviewee. So, in here, um, simply, magta mag para makapag-gather ng data, ang gagawin mo ay magtatanong ka mismo face-to-face -face doon sa, uh, sa person na gusto mong makuha na ng data. Usually, ang mga example nito ay yung palabas na gandang gabi, guys, yung kay Tony, and a lot more na napapanood natin sa TV na wherein uh, ini-interview yung isang uh, person. So, that's an example of uh, interview method. Magtatanong talaga kayo face-to-face. Alright? So, pwede din naman calls through phones. Mga ex Another example is that yung mag-a-apply ka ng trabaho, that's na meron kang interview, as in face-to-face -face talaga. Uh, pupunta ka in order for you to be able to answer those questions the interviewer will ask to you via face to face or maybe via phone okay so next we have the next one which is the questionnaire method okay so in this method what you're going to do is that you are going to ask questions via questionnaire so meron talagang questionnaire and this questionnaire may be uh, in a form of pen and paper. So, you're going to prepare questions. Ikaw, na nagkakandak ng research or ng study, magpe-prepare ka talaga ng questions na isusulat mo sa papel or itatype or printed sa papel and then ibibigay mo yung questions sa uh, gusto mong pagkuhanan ng data. Like, so, anong sinasabi tungkol sa questionnaire? It is often used when information is sought from a large number of people or wide range of topic. So, in this case class, gagamit talaga kayo ng questionnaire, lalo na kung uh, 30 or more na yung pagtatanungan ninyo, yung pagkukuha na ninyo ng data. So, sa pagkuha ninyo ng data, you have to think of it very carefully kasi depende, ang method na gagamitin mo ay depende sa sa dami ng tao at saka sa topic mo. So, kung ang 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 tao naman or respondent, the respondents kung tawagin natin, kung yung respondents mo ay ay iilan lang naman, then maybe you can use the interview method. But if masyado nang madami, usually pag ang respondents mo ay 30 or more na, then kagamit ka na ng tinatawag natin questionnaire method. Magpe-prepare ka ng questions via paper or um, since we are facing pandemic for today, maybe you can use uh, the Google form in order to for you to prepare questions. And then, isasend mo na lang yung link noon. Di ba? Mas madali makapag-gather ng data. Okay, next we have the observation method okay so what is an observation method it's so simple you will just only simply observe all right data can be obtained through direct observation measurement or counting and no responses required so hindi mo kailangan ng tao para uh, makuha mo yung sagot na gusto mo okay so the number ang isang example nito ay yung number of cars that passes in front of your house that can be determined by using this observation method. Like, ano pa? Uh, the number of times it rained in a month. That's an example of observation method. The number of people that goes into the specific shop or certain shop inside the mall. Halimbawa, ilan ba ang pumapasok sa Infinity? Ilan na pumapasok sa Jollibee? Then, you, pwede kang mag-observe na lang. Di ba? Usually, malalaman mo naman kaagad yun eh. Pipila ka sa isang restaurant, makikita mo madami, mahaba ang pila, then hanap ka naman ng iba. So, that's observation method. Directly, makikita mo kaagad yung data that comes into your mind. Okay? Next, we have the 
experiment method okay so what is an experiment method from the word experiment of course you're going to conduct experiment the data can be obtained through actual and real experiment okay so actually class you may wonder um in mathematics meron din naman tayong tinatawag na experiment usually kasi ang alam lang natin when we say experiment, this involves in science subject only. We're in, ano ba mga example ng experiment in science? Laboratory. In laboratory, inside the laboratory, di ba, magkakontak, magmimix kayo ng mga chemicals like that and then you observe nyo what happened to the, to your mixture and then, um, ano pang isang example ng experiment? Yung mag, Mag-grow ka ng seed and the, into different types of soil. So, that's really experiment. Okay? Actual yun. However, class, in mathematics, meron din naman tayo. In here, ano bang mga experiment natin sa mathematics? In statistics, ang experiment natin dito is that yung tossing a coin, okay? In some other, ano, in some other term, tinatawag tong karakrus. Pero hindi ito, hindi ito sugal, ha? Hindi to, hindi to, hindi tayo suga, hindi ito sugalan. Okay, so what you're going to do is just simply um, magtatara ka sa papel mo. Ilang beses ba nag-appear yung head at saka ilang beses nag-appear yung tail. Okay, so that's experiment. Um, pibilangin mo kung ano yung mas madaming naglumabas. Yung outcome ba? Okay, so ilang beses nag-appear yung uh, outcome na head. Sino mas madami? Yung head ba or yung tail? Another experiment in mathematics is you rolling a die 20 times or you roll a die 20 times. Ano mas madaming nag-appear? Okay, then next. Um, ano pa bang mga experiment natin? Halimbawa, um, uh, what is the most commonly observed uh, outcome when you pull a piece of card in a deck of card? Okay, so sa Tagalog, ano ba yung mas madalas na nag lumalabas kapag uh, bumunot ka ng isang baraha? Isang piraso ng baraha. Okay. Okay, yon. So, that's an example of experiment. Right? So, now, we have the previous information. Previous information meaning, you're going to collect data, uh, you're going to search or for relevant data or information na from newspapers, magazines, World Wide Web, etc. Na meron na talaga data before. Kung baga, what you're going to do is that you will just only simply get them and then use it in your study. Okay? So, pwede mga articles, reader digest, um, books, pwede kang kumuha doon mga babasahin ba okay so gagamitin mo lang ulit you may search in, in the internet or world wide web world wide web www yun okay then gagamitin mo siya in order for you to relate it in your study okay next we have the registration method all right so what is a registration method ano to this is a method which is enforced by certain laws of the government. The registration of births and deaths is an example. Okay, so, di ba, um, kapag nanganak si mama, si baby, si kapatid, ipaparehistro siya, di ba? So, this is an example of registration method. Kailangan yon para makuha kung gaano kadaming babies ang isinilang for the month of, or for the month of, um, let's say, June or for the year 2021. Okay, so, Para makuha na rin kung gaano kadami ng tao ang meron sa Pilipinas. So, that's one example. Then, kapag may namatay, syempre, di ba kapag may namatay, inaasikaso pa yun ng, ano, ng mga, ng family member or ng relative, ipaparehistro kung sino yung namatay para makuha kung sino yung, um, gaano karami ang namamatay sa isang taon. So, that's computing for the death rate or, uh, yan. And birth rate, of course. Okay, so that's all. Those are the different uh, methods of collecting data or data gathering. I hope you learned a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone, and God bless. Mwah.